Yeah, fellow collector Shuki here with a review of the Lupin Ranger vs. Path Ranger DXX Changer. So this is the transformation device for Lupin X and Path X. Uh, they're the same person, it's working both sides, even though he's primarily kind of Lupin driven. And so like you got the, the like the Lupin mode of the changer on the front here, and he's kinda like a like a Pot Ranger by day and a Lupin Ranger by night. It, it's really weird, but I, I dig his character uh, quite a bit. I like both the suits uh, as well. So we have the Lupin Changer right here in its uh, Lupin mode. And it is comprised of the X-Train Silver and the X-Train Gold. And they kind of just smush together to make the Changer. And then also combining with the X-Train Fire and X-Train Thunder, make uh, X-Emperor and its Slash and Gunner modes. Um, but for now, in this video, we're just going to take a focus on the Changer itself, the functions of the toy. And we'll get into the robot combinations when we review X-Fire and X-Thunder later on today. So, DX X-Changer right down here. Uh, it is a versus vehicle toy. As well as a changer, it's a it, it's kind of like the culmination of this entire series. Like it, it's a changer as well as a mecha as well as the collectible gimmick. It just it's every facet of Sentai like just smushed into one toy. It's kind of crazy. Uh, actually, you got a decent picture of X Emperor up there in both modes. Uh, they are compatible. The fronts are compatible with the. Um, Versus changer, so there is that as well. All the functions back there. There is good Dokuda Kaisa VSX. Uh, the combination, it's really crazy. We'll get to that in the next video uh, as well. So, uh, really cool. I actually like this thing quite a bit more than I thought I would. So, let's get it open and take a look. Alright, so here we go. This thing was available July 2018 for about 5,200 yen or so, give or take, depending on when and where you picked it up. Uh, so, yeah, it. It, it's definitely like a weird price point, I feel, because you have to factor in you're getting a changer as well as mecha pieces. So it's definitely kind of worth it. At the same time, it's not. So I, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Uh, this is a little bit on the like longer side of things. So I'm having a little bit of trouble fitting it in my full camera frame. So I do apologize for that. But here is the loop in mode. You have X-Train Silver right here and then you have the very much larger X-Train Gold hanging out over here. Uh, I like the prop in the show and then the toy, there was something really off about the toy and I was really racking my brain trying to figure out what it was. In the show, this section right here that the two tra uh, X-Train Silver slides through here to make the robot, there's a cover on the prop in the show and there isn't on the toy. I don't know how they would have really engineered that exactly so i understand its absence but <laughs> uh, it really threw me off because like the prop doesn't have this giant hole in the middle of it which isn't too bad from like this angle for the for the lupin mode but when you go ahead and flip it over to make the the Potterin mode which i can't do there's no off button on this uh which you just kind of have to reset it to get the sounds to stop. So I really wish there was an off switch on this because it, it, it honestly it makes it very difficult to play with uh, without like taking the batteries out and the battery commands right there. It just it runs off of LR44s. I think three of them. But it, it makes it very difficult to play with uh, in that regard because every time you move like this handle thing, it starts wanting to do different modes. Every time you move this, it all does different noises. Uh, so it just it makes a lot of noise and it, it's kind of difficult to just sit and play with without like waking people up If it's late at night or just disturbing people in general uh, So I really wish there was an off function uh, on this toy, but alas there is not uh, They kind of deem it where if you use LR44s, there's no reason to have an off switch, I guess But here is the Potterin mode uh, with the handle back here, it's definitely a lot longer and a lot heftier feeling uh, of a weapon, which I, I dig quite a bit. I think it also looks a little bit more fluid because you only have this little chunk sticking out of the back as opposed to all like this hanging out uh, in the looping mode. So I like this mode quite a bit even though I could do without this thing. But you can technically flip that up. There's a robot head and it kind of looks like a scope. So there, there's that if you want. But uh, in the Potteren mode, you have... 
Just that general firing noise if you hold it down, nothing happens. So flipping it over to the loop inside, that'll start doing the change. We don't want that yet. Uh, we'll reset it. To, to reset any of the noises, you just do this. And it'll switch the modes back and kind of default it. So now in looping mode, it's the same gun noise. I did all that work to show off the same gun noise. Uh, all right, so we're in loop-in mode, so we're gonna go ahead and do the loop-in transformation first. And so how you do that is you just take this, flip it around, flip it again. Pull the trigger. I love that transformation jingle. I really do. It's it's groovy. I like it. And so now you have a little train noise attack sound. Yay, trains. I do love trains. Don't get me wrong. I love trains. Uh, and so that uh, is that. To switch it to uh, Potterin mode, you just flip it over one time. See, that one's cool, too. So one uh, thing I love is that within that jingle, it had a very steam engine sort of noise and sound to it, while the Lupin one had a lot more of a bullet train sound to it, so it matches the two types of trains that this is. So I, I dig that quite a bit. So you have that firing noise. And so if you were in this mode to start, to do the transformation to Potterun X first, you would flip this one time and then flip it again. And it would just do the transformation to that. So whatever mode you're in, if you wanted that to be what you change into, you just rotate it twice. And then to, to change the mode that you're in, you just rotate it one time. So there you go with that. To summon either of the X trains, X trains, <laughs> X trains, uh, I believe the sounds are the same, but again, you're gonna have to rotate it twice. X. <laughs> uh, I, I like it. And so now we have formed X Emperor Gunner. And unfortunately, there's no quick way to change it to X Emperor Slash. Like, I really wish you could just rotate this and it would make the sounds for X Emperor Slash. And unfortunately, it doesn't do that. We have to do the full transformation first. Which I understand, because he kind of does that in the show. Like when the mode changes, he does like go through the robot and transform. So I understand that, but if you uh, hold it down now, or if you, you have to do the whole rotation first. I guess that's the same sound. So that didn't change at all, but now if you press it again... So there's that. I, I feel it's just a little bit unfortunate that there's no quick way to bounce between the two robot forms. 
uh, like it would in the show. I think that's a little bit of a missed opportunity in that regard. So that is it for that. We'll get into some of the other sounds when we start doing the robot related things. But of course, these can split apart into the two trains. Uh, just right here, there is a connector. And then right up here, there is a connector. And I wanna just kinda level those out. Set that aside for now, but uh, it, it's very easy for this one. Now you have X-Train Silver right here. And then for X-Train Gold, it's a little bit more finagling, but not a whole lot. You're ultimately gonna raise this up and raise this across, just like this. And now you have X-Train Gold. And one thing to note about the X-Train Gold in particular, when it is in this mode, it does play sounds associated with the trains. So there's, there's that. I like train noises. So yeah, you have the two X-Trains. Uh, they both have wheels at the bottom, so they both roll. Uh, quite a bit, but I, I feel with without having that panel or panels to cover that X-Train Gold just looks really stupid uh, With that I don't even mind the giant gun on top. I think that's cool, but <laughs> He just has a giant hole in the middle of his back carriage uh, So that's a little bit unfortunate. So to uh, in order to use this with the VS changer versus changer that It's the same thing You're gonna have to uh, remove this front part. So now you have X-Train Gold right there and same for silver just pop that off set the back aside and now we are ready to go with the versus changer all right we'll do silver first we are a little bit on the bigger side let me do that one more time because he, he says something a little bit interesting if you if you listen closely doesn't do anything uh, so it's a default rise it's not pot rise or uh, kai kaito rise okay. wow I blanked super hardcore there cool sound though flip it up So I kind of dig this because it says like challenger, so it, it's kind of it's obviously meant to be challenger, uh, but it's like challenger, so it, it still says ranger, but it's 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 a nice little wordplay. I dig that. So it's this new challenger because he's a new character. Go Kaiser did something kind of similar. Unfortunately, that's all it does. There's no, there's no mecha summoning noise uh, for these guys because it's in the changer itself. So there is that. And if you did leave that, it's just gonna rise again. And nobody got time for that. So now for gold, they're a little bit longer, so it's a little bit more difficult to line up. I whiffed that, didn't I? I, I kind of hit that one. There we go. <laughs> There you go. I like the wordplay. Like I said, uh, Gokaiger did something vaguely similar with the Gokai Silver Key. It said, I think it said New Challenger? I don't even remember. But it didn't say Gokai Silver because they didn't have it at the time. But Oh, it said Gokaiger in that questionable tone, I think. But if you check those out, they have the same exact rails. They're both number 16. So obviously they're going to say the same exact thing. But there you go. And that's it for these. Like I said, there are a couple, particularly one, 
uh, other sound in here. There's a couple other sounds for the respective robot modes too. And we'll take a look at that with the Fire and Thunder X Train. That'll go up shortly after this video. So really cool. I actually ended up liking this a lot more than I thought I was. Not only do I get two cool train toys, which I always appreciate, but the sounds aren't bad. I like the way the changer ultimately looks and I didn't think I was going to because it is really goofy and weird, but I, I like the way it functions. I like the sounds and it, it like it's it, like I said, it feels good in the hand. Uh, so I, I definitely like it a lot more than I thought. And so if you like Noel in the series or really like trains or what have you, I think it is definitely something to look into. And uh, the my appreciation for the set grows even more with X-Train Fire and Thunder. So stay tuned for that. But that about is it for this review. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.